welcome back. Well, today we're going to explore nature and maybe check out some creepy crawlies. Yeah. <laughs> well, Rachel French, she is the program manager with the Roanoke River Science Project. She's here to give us all the dirt on a workshop this weekend that will not only get you back into nature, but it's going to teach you a lot about our local water. So Rachel, thanks so much for joining us today. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> so first question, I've never heard about this until recently. So what is the Roanoke River Science Project? Yep, well, the Roanoke River Project is a partnership between the City of Roanoke Stormwater Utility and the Clean Valley Council. And it's a citizen science water quality monitoring program where folks like you and I can get trained on how to conduct local water quality monitoring of local rivers and streams. And it's super fun. <laughs> it, it's really cool. You brought a lot of stuff here today. I'm realizing there's a lot of stuff in our water that I've never <laughs> known about. But this workshop this weekend you have, it's about becoming a stream monitor. So what is that? What can folks expect from a workshop like this? What will they learn? Yeah, so there's lots of different ways to, to monitor water quality. Our, our organization is really fun and unique because we sample the critters that live <laughs> in the rivers and streams because they are known as biological indicators, meaning that they vary in their sensitivities to or tolerances of different types of pollution. Mm. So depending on the diversity and the types of, of critters we find in our sample in the stream, it can really tell us a lot about overall stream health. Oh, that's fascinating. So these critters can include anything from insects like stoneflies and mayflies here. They're pretty tiny. Mm -hmm. It can involve um, or include things like dragonflies, which actually are, are pretty big in their immature stage here. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if you can get a close up of that, but so that is, what, what is this? Um, that's a, what a baby dragonfly looks a, like. Before a baby dragonfly. Before wow. they turn into adults that carry out the rest of their life cycle on land. So all of these organisms, we, we teach you how to collect them, how to identify them, and how to calculate your overall stream health score based on the organisms that you find in your sample. So you do a lot um, um, with, with these folks, um, and you brought some things that people will, will get to use. Uh, so one of, this big thing over here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick this up. Um, this is one thing that you guys use. What is this? How this do you is use our this? Huge kick scene net mm -hmm. um, that we use. To, we put this in the stream, and one person holds the net, and then mm -hmm. one person is on the other side of the net in the river or in the stream. Mm -hmm. They rub the rocks, they dislodge the organisms from their habitat so that they can flow downstream into the net where the, oh, we can catch them okay. and then you take them back up. to our table. Mm -hmm. Use these really high tech pieces of equipment like <laughs> ice cube trays, mm -hmm. forceps, spray bottles to collect our organisms, uh, sort them, and uh, correctly identify them. Okay, and yeah, you've got all sorts of um, little tweezers here. And, and when you do that too, um, you, you end up picking up a bunch, what is this one actually? Some yeah. of these are really, those are very special. Those are called case-making caddisflies, which are very, very sensitive to pollution. So we love to see these in our sample. And oh, so that's good. So if you have certain things in there, that is that means we have a healthy river. Exactly, yes. So some of these were collected um, in the Upper Roanoke River watershed, which is a, a good sign. Um, mm -hmm. Some of our sites are not so healthy, so we tend to find more tolerant organisms like worms, flatworms, um, clams like this, this is an invasive clam here oh, called the Asian clam. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but we really like to see case making caddisflies and stoneflies, dragonflies, because they're more sensitive to pollution. So that's a, a better sign for oh. water quality. So really in these workshops, you guys get to learn, you get to learn so much about the health. And, and you know, the one thing I asked you to, the first thing I was like, would you go in the river? <laughs> I was like, would you go? And you said, yes. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Our, our rivers and streams are our great assets. Um, certainly we have some work to do. Um, certain pollutants we're, we're trying to, um, you know, target in our waterway. But, you know, the, my biggest take home is to avoid the water after a heavy rain event. OK. All right. Definitely. Definitely. We'll remember that. So you have this workshop this weekend. Can folks still sign up for it? Where yes, do they go? Absolutely. So I'm hosting a workshop this Saturday morning at the Belmont Library. And you can sign up. There are still some spots available. The way you can sign up is to visit the Clean Valley website, which is www.cleanvalley.org, and visit their events or get involved page. Okay, that's awesome. Um, I am fascinated. You, you are so knowledgeable, and folks really get to get immersed and really understand our streams. I think that, of course, like you said, it's so important. Um, we love our rivers and streams here, so uh, we certainly appreciate you coming on. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Rachel Pence, Program Manager with the Roanoke River Science Project, giving us all the dirt on all the creepy crawlies and the health of our streams. We appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Stick around. WFXR News at noon. We'll be right back.